All right, we got Lord Ah. Four gems short. What happened? Did I stop early? Did I pick something up? I moved stuff around so I could get the cube. I see. So see then, yeah. Post normal. Uh, let's see, I think this is gonna be Jim L. I'm gonna make it Jim L. Run. Ever since the last Windows update, um, there's been a new pop up there where it says, you know, I have to click run. Okay, we don't highlight the barbarian because uh, he probably has battle orders on, and so his life bulb, yeah. 2026 out of 1,323. So if you mouse over his character like this, what? What? Oh, I moved. I don't remember moving. So if you mouse over his character like this, the health bar will cause your game to crash. I've done it once before, I don't remember which video that was. Uh, I'll show the gear briefly. Uh, this ring needs to be replaced eventually, but at this point it probably never will. The amulet too. Because he already does you know, He's reached his final goal, or at least I think it's going to be his final goal, which is gem farming. Um, and if he ends up doing something else, like uh, Cocoon Touch, then the rings will both become SOJ, and the amulet would be just a generic 2 barb. And then the weapon would probably be plus 1 barb something. Um, or maybe two weapons, plus one barb, plus one barb to get more increased speed. And then this would probably be like a uh, Tarn Helm. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So these gems are for uh, cube recipes and version later versions. 1.07, 1 1.08, 1.10a. Uh, the skulls I might end up using in classic to roll amulets, but I might also take them to 1.08 to roll um, uh, rare jewels, which can get six affixes in 1.08. So this is just a gem farming video. I'm gonna kill the council over and over. Until I have a stat, or rather an inventory full of gems. Hello? Okay, and the last guy. Or the last two guys, rather. The last three guys. One, two, three, four, five. Did I pick up something that wasn't a gem? No. Five, that's impressive. Uh, if they keep going like that, this could be a very short video. Because I just go until I reach one inventory full. Do I have a gem shrine? No. I don't know if they drop more gems here than in later versions. Uh, I do know they have a much smaller treasure class. And I think the main thing that kind of makes the gem finding faster here than in later versions is just that there's less clutter and there's like literally almost nothing else that I'm even going to consider picking up. 
so I can just grab gems and leave. Whereas if you've watched my 1.07, I pick up a lot of junk and identify it. So there's still a lot of gems that drop, but uh, there's a lot of other stuff mixed in that I'm not interested or that I don't have to filter and sort through here. So it helps me. You know, the ultimate goal really for me here is to find sapphires. I think I made a video last night. Uh, I was really tired and I stayed up. Oh yeah, because yesterday was the day that I got home. Like after my bedtime, that's right. And then today, yeah, they're like, hey, come into work tomorrow. So I came into work tomorrow. And then they're like, oh, never mind, it's raining. Uh, thanks for doing that carpool that we have you do, but there's no work today. I was like, you saw on the forecast already that there was rain. Uh, so I went home and went back to sleep. And then I'm going to go to bed early today. And then tomorrow we're starting late. But I'll probably, you know, stay at this company for another year. And then if nothing has happened with regards to significant pay raises or um, increases in responsibility, uh, then I would leave. Look for something else. Cause, you know, it's not the worst place I've ever worked, and I don't hate the work. Um, it's just uh, annoying when they like to call me off the clock, and then the schedule is not fixed. Uh, I didn't cook today, I just ate stuff that was already like ready to eat. I had uh, an 18 ounce container of cottage cheese, it's a pound and a half, or here's a fun number for you, two thirds of a kilogram. So good luck figuring out what that means. Um, of cottage cheese, and then I had just 10 of 12 ounce of peanuts and two apples and I'm drinking water uh, because I had the cottage cheese I don't need the milk or rather I don't want two large portions of dairy in the same day no I don't want a cottage cheese and a gallon and a or sorry a half gallon of milk Not because I have anything against dairy, but because at some point, if you drink, if you take too much of it, probably, I don't know, something probably go wrong. You know, eat, eat only one thing, and something's gonna go haywire. Probably. So it was relatively inexpensive food-wise today. Uh, I did buy a battery for my smoke detector. And so I have to put that in and then plug it back in. Because I have that. Uh, they call it annual safety inspection that they put the notice on my apartment. I've lived here almost three years and this is the first time I've seen it. Um, and I know they haven't done it before. Or if they have, then it's pretty lackluster because I have not had a functioning smoke detector since I moved in. Well, there's one in my bedroom, but there's not one in the main room. It's just it's just been on the counter, uh, unplugged and no battery. And I don't, there's no concern for carbon monoxide poisoning because um, I don't have natural gas here. 
So the only function it serves is smoke detecting. So like fire. And the apartment is small enough that if it's going to detect it in the main room, it's going to detect it in the bedroom too. Actually, the the way that they're placed and the ceiling, they're about six feet away from each other, maybe less. Because it's like on each side of the door to the bedroom. Like if you're standing up on a chair and reaching, oops, reaching up to the ceiling, um, you can touch both of them at the same time. Uh, we had apparently Tropical Storm Alberto, I guess. Uh, I didn't know it was a tropical storm that was coming until last night. Uh, but it was where I live, it was a big nothing. It was, we had light rain all day, no wind. It was no more than normal. Uh, so the rain is good and it gave me a day off work even though I still, anyway, whatever, gave me a day off work, so I, I got to take a nap, and then I'm going to get to go to bed early. Oh, I need to identify that hat. And this seems to be a low sapphire seed. One, yeah, very low. Good day. Thank you. No good. Um, it didn't really, you know, get otherwise anything like purposeful done today. I kind of just lazed around laid in bed and watched uh, Twitch and then uh, slept. But I got a lot done the other day, so it kind of balances out, I guess. When I had that cleaning spree. I took out the trash and uh, I've mentioned that for the trash, uh, instead of a trash can, I just have a box, like a empty, Kellogg cereal case and I didn't I couldn't see what the date was on the box last time I mentioned it and so the box had an expiry date of July 17 2020 so it's like 28 days from being four years past expiry now there's nothing in it it's just a box that I used for trash but Apparently I've been using it as my trash box for four years. And I don't put any like uh, food stuff or anything like that in it, nothing that's wet. Uh, so like the box isn't dirty. Uh, you know, it's not like, the only reason I would replace it is because it's kind of the seams are starting to get a bit flimsy. Like the glue in the bottom is starting to give out and so it doesn't hold the trash quite as well. I have to carry it from the bottom. But since I don't work at the grocery store anymore, getting a intact box is slightly more effort. I can't just walk over and grab it. And the ones that they use on the shelf for in-store display, they rip the fronts off of them. So that doesn't help me either. And since I don't shop at night, um, I can't take an unopened case off their pallet and stock it myself and then take the box that way. I've done that in the past, but 
when I was using the Mahatma Jasmine Rice, the cardboard box case those come in is like really thick but soft cardboard which I liked to use when I was doing a lot of shipping um, as spacers inside my the boxes when I was shipping trading cards. I would put that uh, soft cardboard between the cards and then um, whatever I was using as um, packing insulation. I would use uh, plastic grocery bags so that the cards don't flop around in the box during shipping. And I always got positive comments about my professional packing quality. And also positive comments about the item descriptions. But yeah, I would use the Mahatma Jasmine rice is it Mahatma? I think that's the brand name. And so a couple times I took those off the pallet when I was a customer. Like I would take the case off, go stock it, and then take the box home. One gem, please. Thank you. Alright, so that makes 40. So that's it for this. Okay, I got four sapphires. It's not terrible. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to show. But I don't know what, so I guess I won't show it.